No one's catching these guys. They're beating Atlanta as I'm making this video right now. They've only lost two games. They're running away with this Serie A title. This is theirs. You might as well crown them from now. And they're predicted to finish third in game. Yeah, Ossiman and Kavaskiela weren't having it. Let's just put it like this is that updated player reaction shout out Yanni so let's get into that um, we already know about the Partenope I don't even know if that's legit you already know their license got taken bro you get me um, UEFA Champions League is what they're in I have them on winning that not betting with money I'm not allowed to do that no more I mean like in my head I'll put it on them to win the whole thing so yeah they could win the double this season in my opinion Alright, so we're looking at these updated stats. Um, Pierre Luigi Golini all the way to Giovanni Simeone. This one hits even different now because I've actually done a Napoli save since I recorded the first one. So let's get into the, the player reaction. Alright, first player that we've got on loan from Atlanta, Pierre Luigi Golini. I don't know why you would loan him in. In terms of why would you, I mean, why would you loan him out? To your rivals it doesn't make any sense because yeah you're backing your rivals now that's a very good backup goalkeeper with the reflexes 14 agility 13 one and one's 14 that's that's amazing bro for sitting on that bench i'll take that still i said hey bro i don't know about that stat right there jump and reach is all i care about along with the three things that i said he's got them so therefore he's a decent player to have on that bench you get me all right next goalkeeper that we've got is a 25 year old called alex Merritt. so yeah the reflexes agility and one-on-ones are amazing top notch bro he's an amazing stop shotter i mean oh my god stop starter but when it comes to being on that ball forget the whole equation dash it all in the bin flush it down the toilet bro you might as well it looks like he's got a, a hot air balloon at his feet bro because it's just going to be flying out of that stadium every time he tries to control that ball that's what's going to happen. So all we're going to do is say, yeah, make him goalkeeper defend. Even though Super Key, could, you know what? It could probably work, you know. I ain't going to lie, but I'll just play it safe. I ain't got nothing to lose. I'll play it safe, but he's definitely starting for me. He looks very good, though. I'll be honest. All right, next we've got man like David Marfella. So, yeah, the guy is 22, yeah, and he's, yeah, watch this, yeah. Coach Samri might not have the required ability or potential. So why is he with the winners? Why is he with the GOATs, the GOATs and the league leaders? Why is he here? Dash him, like I said, dead CD that your friend gave you when he's trying to make it in music. Just fling it like a frisbee, bruv. Dash it in the bin. Forget it. Forget that we ever saw this guy. That's what we're going to do right now. You get me? And the last goalkeeper. Yeah, we're not making it out of the hood with this one still. Let's be honest, bro. He can't start, bro. Send that on loan because he's 20. I appreciate the 20-year-olds. You get me? Dash that on loan, bruv. And that's all we're going to do with this guy, man. Like, who but, uh, yeah, drop me out. All right, first outfield player that we've got is a 28-year-old called Amir Ramani. So, yeah, I remember this guy. He caused a lot of frustration, raised my blood pressure a couple of times due to his lack of footballing ability. He's just a straight, no-nonsense that can't do anything on that ball. He's like a dog that's just seen an RC car, remote control car that's covered in peanut butter. And he just starts chasing after that car and forgets about his whole family, forgets about his own. He doesn't care. As long as he sees a defender that's got a ball, that's the only time that he's useful. I swear down. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but th this is the actual thing, yeah. He's not too bad at winning that ball. So central defender, it could work. But no nonsense is what it's going to be for me. So yeah. Malak Ramani. Make him a little no nonsense. Lock off the, the whole centre back thing. Anyone that comes to him, you have full licence to take them out. Just like him, man. You get it. All right. Next outfit player that we've got. Big up all the Norwegian man. Then we've got man like Leo Ostegaard. Big up the man them. This guy's not really it, I'll be honest. He looks like he's just frustrated that he can't control that ball. That's what the stats are telling me, bro. It's like he's trying to play football. Like, he can't even pass it as well, bro. It's like he's trying to play the ball. Someone gives him the ball and it just keeps on bouncing away and he's just getting angry. That's why he's got, like, 17 aggression and the bravery, even the determination and the work rate. That's all just to catch that ball that he's... Bro, even the dives into tackles, I don't believe it, bro. I believe it's just... It's just hope, bro. It's just compensation for him not being able to control that ball. But, yeah, if you wanted him to be in a defensive situation, you, you can do that. I'll probably make it no nonsense on cover. And yeah, it will have to be no nonsense, guys, because unfortunately, technical ability is kind of scarce with centre backs like these, as you can see. All right, next we've got the only centre back who actually done anything for me, who I genuinely owe something. I feel like I owe him something now. You get me? He's definitely done something for me. 25 years of age, Kim Min Jae. If you look at those stats, you'll think, yeah, probably central or ball playing, but ball playing is a bit of, it's a bit of a push. You get me? It's a bit of a push still. But yeah, I'll probably still do it anyway. 
Oh, sorry, first touch is so dusty. I can't even see it no more. Yeah, forget that, bro. But yeah, um, look at that. 18 strength. I dare you try it with this guy. See, see how see how it ends for you. You get me? It's not gonna end well. He'll put man on a stretcher, you'll be looking at the stars in the sky. And yeah, um, the bravery and the tackling 17. See, I didn't even see that, bro. Solid defender. Definitely getting into a lot of teams. And if you could get him for 30 million. I think that's a bargain, honestly. What a player right there. Man, like Kim Min Jae, 17 heading, 17 jump reach, and he's six foot three. It's a no brainer. You get me? All right, next centre back that we've got is man, like Juan Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing at Napoli, bro. I'll be honest. I mean, you got him for free. I appreciate that. But still, like, let's be honest, bro. He should be playing based on his footballing ability. He should be in them leagues where man's playing with part time employees and barbers, bro. He should be learning tips on how to give man fades instead of controlling that. It's like the levels, if you look at the mental ability as well, like in terms of being on that ball, there's no point. Let's be honest, bro. However, when it comes to winning the ball, we give man his fair juice, give him a little clap. Well done. He's good at controlling that. Sorry. Good at winning that ball. Yeah. Very good at winning that ball. Yeah. What's that? 17 strength, 17 tackling, bro. It's not too bad. I'll be honest, bro. But yeah, he's 31. There's no point. I'll dash that straight in that bin. You better believe. All right, next we've got man like Giovanni Di Lorenzo. So um, yeah, I don't know why he's on fullback attack. It's like you're in the you're on that battlefield, yeah. You see man throwing grenades. Man plucks the grenade, dashes it, yeah. Then you look down in your hands. You got two boiled eggs, bro. What the flip am I gonna do with these? Man's got eleven technique, eleven vision, thirteen passing, eleven dribbling, and thirteen crossing. You can't attack and and scare someone like me. As a defender, bro. Come on, man. Let's be honest, bro. So what we're going to do, we're going to swiftly make him fullback defender. And you can see how everything just transforms in his favor. He wasn't doing himself any favors. He was genuinely getting a sniper, putting the scope on and shooting himself in the foot. That's what he was doing. So, yeah, um, we've just saved his career literally at the age of 28. We've just made him a new man. I believe at that age, as a fullback defender, he's, he's great. You get me? All right, next we've got a 29-year-old that um, they've loaned in. He's just defensive solidity. Someone that's overdosed on protein shakes, mass gainers. I wouldn't say steroids. He looks like a natural bodybuilder over here. Six foot as well, 16 strength. That's all he's really got, though, just the strength. Bit of bravery, aggression, and a bit of tackling. That's all it is, bro. But um, if we were to look at the highest thing that he's got in those long in in that in that technical section, it's the long throw. So yeah, that tells you what kind of player he is. He, he is on loan from Sampdoria. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'll probably terminate the loan or use him just for banner. I'll be honest. All right, so we've got a guy that I really do respect because he's done exactly what I've done. So I ain't gonna get mad. Let me tell you, he's blagged his way into a position at Napoli. Same way I got my job, I blagged my way in there. I have no, I have no right being anywhere near where I am right now. But I just lied the hell out of uh, out of my, my my head, bro, just to get into that that job, bro. And he's done the same thing. He claims to play everywhere. In reality, I don't think he can claim one position. If we're being honest, like if I wanted to make him a midfielder, he's got six composure. You'll think that he's trying to balance on one hand on the Eiffel Tower based on how he is in that midfield. He looks, he looks hella scared, bro. And then make him, making him a, what, a left back. He's got six tech and have fun, guys. All I'm saying is that he's 22 and he's just lied to get here. But I respect it, though. That's the difference, isn't it? There's guys that I don't really rate, but I really rate his, I, I rate his thing. I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah. Um, sign him up, guys. Have fun. All right, next we've got a 31-year-old called Mario Rui. Yeah, we, we remember this guy. A very good player. I know this is an updated version. I just can't really remember the update. So I'm just going to look at him as if he's new again. And then the crossing. Yeah, fullback support, man. Because, listen, that dribbling, we're not really trying to see that in 2023. It's quite embarrassing, bro. The ball's going to be... He looks like he's social distancing from that ball. Not really trying to see that. Very good pace. Very good tackling. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. The passing. The crossing. He looks like a very playmaking kind of fullback. And he's got pace and tackling as well. So for a 31 year old, he's good enough to start. I wouldn't blame you if you start him. However, when if, if you wanted to make him a bench man, I could kind of understand it as well. Even though I think he has to start. Let's see if they've got any better left. All right, next left back that we've got is man like Matias Oliveira. Looking very reliable, bro. Just like beans on toast when there's nothing in that fridge. When times are hard, the financial crisis is going up, bro. All of those inflations, bro. Man can't really afford too much. The fridge is looking hella dusty, bro. Man got the beans on toast in the cupboard though. We can always rely on those. And this, just like beans on toast, Matisse Oliveira, very reliable guy. Yeah, so um, 
tackling 15, positioning 14, bro. He's got good enough mentals as well. Pace, very good, bro. Physicals, everything's... I need this 49 above, including the strength, bro. You get me? Especially the movement. We appreciate that. And then when he gets to that byline, 12 dribbling, 12 flares, good enough for a left back. And then he's got 14 crossing. I'll sign that right now. And I'll, and I'll use that as a backup as well. What a player. All right, next we've got one of the biggest contradictions I've ever seen, but it's a really great one. The guy is like Thanos mixed with Stardust, bro. He's like Twinkie Dust. Man is like, he's got, he's got the brute strength of Thanos. And he's got the feet of Ronaldinho. It doesn't make any sense, bro. The guy's got, what, 17 dribbling and 16 flair, yeah? And he's and he's got 16 tackling and 16 strength. How, bro? That's not fair. It's not fair to be able to hold your arm up, potentially break someone's ribs, and then go back and spin him up to a point of no return where he's looking disfigured now because you've just spun him up so bad with that ball. So, yeah, um, this guy's dangerous, bro. I ain't going to lie. Stat-wise, he looks, he looks great. I have to be honest, bro. I can't even say anything bad about this guy. Honestly, it's, it's on another level, bro. I'm like Zambo angry, sir. Step, step carefully with this guy, I'll tell you. All right, next you've got my like Tangai Ndombele. What team is he on loan for? from? I can't even see. It's that dusty, bro. So dusty, I can't even read that team. Bro. On loan from what? I can't even see. Can you not see that, bro? Is it just me? My eyes, they ain't working. Or is it just the team's so dusty? I don't know. Anyway, um, very good passer. Very good dribbling. Very good strength. And that's about it. Yeah. So he's just... I mean, you could do deep plan playmaker. You could. In fact, it probably makes more sense because he's got 14 tackling. When it comes to shooting, 10 finishing and 12 long shots, is it nowhere near that tackling and that positioning with that strength? It makes sense. So yeah, if we make him a little... I'll be honest. Zamboy and Weeks' level's on this guy. If he's on loan to be on the bench, I don't mind. I think um, I would either terminate the loan or slap him on that bench, though, I'll be honest, bro. But yeah, um, very good dribbling under pressure, very good strength under pressure, and then the tackling and the passing, it makes sense. He's a very good player, but there's levels. I've seen the levels, I'll be honest. All right, next you got my Diego Dem. So yeah, um, this guy, he's one of them men that just practices kicking cars and trees. But unfortunately, one time he went a bit too hard. He was probably kicking it a bit too hard, bro. He booted the car so hard that it started flying, but... He ended up breaking his foot in the process, gone for two to three months. That's one for you to know. But um, yeah, he's he was decent. I'll be honest. As a little, itch, I mean, emergency backup. Yeah, someone that we need to call to just lock things off, or off, bro. So let's say you're winning and you need a DM to just go in there and just tell everybody to shut up their mouth, bro. You can bring him on and he can do a decent job at doing that. I'll be honest, bro. The bravery. I mean, he's got everything you need to lock off that pitch. And he's good, but he's like a little mini police officer that likes to kick cars and trees because obviously the tackling is very good as well. He's not a bad player, defensively. All right, next we've got my like, Kyoto Zielinski, bruv. Now, this guy, let's just quickly give you a quick sign. Yeah, in game, his attitude stinks, bro. I gave him everything, literally everything he wanted, bro. I probably even gave him that captaincy. Probably a lot, I don't know if I've done that or not. But all I'm going to say is, he snaked me so dirty, bro, and decided to leave. When I offered him a beautiful deal, he said no. Like, it's embarrassing stuff, man. And stat-wise, he was, you know, he's actually really good. Like As a shadow striker, I think that's still his best role to this day, as a shadow striker. I don't think he's got the composure. He's got the decisions, but I don't think he's got the composure to play as a normal cam. I think you need to make him high intensity based on the stats. And yeah, um, tight spaces is decent. Fair and dribbling, 15 players, all right. It's nothing... It's actually not that great, but let's just look at that first touch, bro. It's amazing. Amazing first touch and the passing, bro. So I'm actually kind of thinking centre midfielder now because his passing range is so good, bro. I don't know, man, but stat-wise, he's good, though. And he's either footed as well, left and right. He's not too bad. He's all right. All right, next we got my like Gianluca Gaetano. Yeah, get out of the club, bro. To be honest, yeah. That guy, I know he's 22 and stuff, but honestly, he looks like he's playing football in socks and sliders, bro. He looks like he's playing in slippers and they're, and they're the wrong way around as well. Just slipping up all over the place, making noise on that pitch. That's what it looks like based on the mental ability. Technically, it's decent. I mean, he's very good at passing. The shooting's average, long shots average. But from a wide player, can't run, bro. I'll be honest. So, yeah, let's just get out of this this dusty play. All right, next we've got my name, Elgis, huh, Elgif Elmas. That looks like an upgrade, bro. That looks way more usable. Than he did before even though before he's still kind of decent right now i'm on the verge of saying he's signable at least because yeah 15 technique 12 and then 16 passing he's a winger but 
No, I can understand if, if he was to put him in that midfield now, innit? And yeah, the shooting, 13, long shots, 13. He looks like he's got good end product. He's got good mentals and at least he's got good physicals as well. So yeah. And he's even got 10 tackling. Yeah, man. He looks like an amazing score player to have on your team. I can't really get too mad at this guy. Elgif if Elmas isn't too bad, stat-wise. He's, he's decent. Oh, and it's got man like Matteo Politano. Like, look at look at this guy. Just look at him go, bro. Five foot seven, one of the little minions, bro. But no, nah, listen. He looks like a little magician. Honestly, like, I can't pick a hole in this game that I wouldn't want to... Like, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to look at it from both ways in it, from an attacker's point of view, playing with him and as a defender playing against him, bro. Like, if you're playing with him, he looks like he'll be very generous because, yeah, mentally, the composure and the decisions, technically he's got the ability to pass it to you. If he wants to crack it himself, he can. But as a defender, I don't know what's going to happen next. Like, I'm here left on the edge of my seat wondering, what is he going to do? Dribble past me, cross it with that 15 crossing, bang it from far, make a very good pass. He's getting into the right posi position. He's got enough pace as well to get into that right position on time. Mentally, he's patterned. He's got that knocks ball past opponent tree. He's got everything I want. He looks stat-wise borderline elite. I'll say he's just under elite because he hasn't got enough greens. He needs a, a couple more 16s. But even still, I'll say he's extremely signable in my opinion. Yeah, man, like Matteo Politano. Not really anything bad to say about this guy. All right, next we've got... Uh, amazing impact player, bro. Um, good enough to start. One of those ones that is good enough to start, but you could understand why he might be a plan B. Let me explain, yeah. So let's just say you're a defender. You're playing against Kavashkiela and Ossiman. They're running you ragged, yeah. Your legs are tired now. It's, it's, it's 80 minutes, and then they bring on Hervin Lozano, who's just mad explosive, and then he'll wind you up. He'll be chatting rubbish in your ears, bro. You'll be like, yeah, you, you ain't going to keep up with me, you stupid prick you're useless bro you're not gonna do anything that's what you're gonna be saying in your ears imagine you're tired and you've got a guy trash talking you bro that's that's gonna be so painful and he can shoot very good dribbling and flair he's, he's got passing that's not a bad plan b at all herbin lozano very deep all right next we've got my like kivisha kavaskiela yeah so um i just want to point out a couple things yeah so i've already shown you the upgrade in terms of how it's gone up from what so the dribbling's gone up we've seen the 19 dribbling and 19 flare together is uh amazing um anyway listen he's only 21 that's what i want to just point out yeah so a 20 is coming very soon he's only got 19s for now but a 20 is coming very soon he's either footed with flare and dribbling like that it's not fair i'll be honest this is cheating this looks like cheating isn't it stat wise there's too much to deal with here. I can't I can't even think of what to say because it's too much, bro. The agility, oh Lord have mercy. Yeah, so I I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. What I'm gonna say is if you are a defender, good luck in it. Because you can do everything to a high enough level for me to say I I'm afraid I can't help you. You're 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 alone, bro. Honestly, that's all it is. So yeah, they're saying important player who could still improve just backing up my point as to a 20 is coming very soon we might see it in fm24 the first 20 it could be the dribbling bro who knows the finishing could become 16 this could be the new neymar stat wise i mean what can you say bro it's mad it's mad. all right it's got a 23 year old called alessio zerbin yeah he's not too bad but definitely a bench warmer though you know like that bro just put him on that bench man there's not there's not really a too much else to say, I'll be honest. I mean, very good off the ball. But um, he's meant to be a wide player. He's got 12 dribbling. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? No way is he going to be out wide with 12 dribbling and he's 23. No way. Send him on loan? Or, yeah, get rid of him. If you're not sending him on loan, get rid of him. Because, yeah, I'm not putting no 12 dribbling out wide. That's embarrassing, bro. You can't be, play you can't be playing with the winners. And you look like you're trying to play keep it up every time you're controlling that ball or trying to dribble with that ball. Yeah, man, um, it's not going to happen still. Alessio Zerbin, he's got a bit of work to do still. Next, you've got five foot eight, but amazing on that ball, yeah, in terms of the finishing, the quality that he brings in front of goal. Like the off the ball movement, the pace, how he's going to get in between the lines and in front of goal composure and finishing, yeah? Giacomo Raspadori, I know it says bench, man. I feel like he's good enough to start. Another one that's good enough to start. This is amazing squad depth. Loaned him from Sasuno, joined him permanently. He's only 22 and I can already say, yeah, don't put him out wide. Make him, I would say, coach or advance forward. 
see what I'm saying? Because as a poacher, he's got the goals. As an advanced forward, he's actually got the ability to kind of create. Not even kind of, he can definitely create. So yeah, Giacomo Raspadori, that's a no-brainer for me. All right, the penultimate player that we've got for these champions, yeah? This guy, he's coming to that Premier League. And it's not just me saying it. He's the one that's saying it, bro. So I predict he will join Arsenal. Out of everyone, I feel like he'll choose Arsenal. I can see him in that red, bro. I see it. I actually see it. It's mad, bro. He'll be walking out of that tunnel with their man there. And that's what I feel like is going to happen. But yeah, for what he's doing right now for Napoli, he looks dangerous, man. If you can see right now, it's really 19 pace, like for real. Like he's a striker with 19 off the ball and 19 pace. So both of them have got... Two 19s each. I just think that, bro. This one in front of goals got 16 finishing. So, yeah. When he inevitably beats your defenders for pace, because no one's going to stop him for pace, yeah. He can jump ahead of them as well. Accurately head the ball in the air. And then when it's on the ground, he knows where the goal is, according to the stats. In game, I had some problems with him before that update. I'm not going to lie to you, but who knows? The new Aussie man could be a problem. So, I wish you lot all the best using guys like this. He looks amazing. And my favourite Napoli player, man like Giovanni Simeone, he's the one, he's the one shining light, bro. I'll be honest. Him, he's on loan. You need to make it permanent. And you'll see why. If you play a Napoli save, you'll understand that he's so consistent. Like, it's mad. He always shows up, bro. He's like a 24 hours McDonald's. He's always there. He's always open for business, bro. He doesn't miss, he doesn't miss, bro. He, he's, bro, he scores so many goals. He's there. He's just very important, man. Very important. But yeah, physically, mentally, yeah, he's got that great 18 work rate. Make him a pressing forward, probably even a target forward because the 16 jump reach and the 16 heading is good enough. And then that 16 finishing, Giovanni Simeone is not a pro I mean, is a problem. Yeah, what a player, bro. The only thing he can't do is pass that ball, but it's fine, man. I mean, no, it's not fine. He's got play short, simple passes as a trait. He can't even, he can't even do that, bro. Let's be honest. So yeah, um, very good player. Damn, I think I missed Lobotka, you know, but this is perfect because, yeah, bro, he was one of my, my best players as well. Both of them were my standout performers, bro. You can't tell me that a guy with 17 tackling and then the 17 composure as well. If you make him a deep plan playmaker, which I did, you, you're you not going to see too many problems. He's kind of error, the, what's the opposite of error prone? He doesn't make too many mistakes and he's solid defensively as well. So, yeah, I I I, I, I trust him with my life. Based on the stats, bro, he's amazing. Yeah. First touch as well, just like just like Lou. He's something special. Lobotka, 27. I'll give him a new deal. That's the first thing that you need to do when you're when you're managing quality like this, bro. What a player, bro. And this is how I would line up Lap Napoli now after that update, yeah? Stat wise, they look so strong that I'm not even surprised that they're where they are in the table right now in real life. Because stat wise, I'm sorry, but Merit in goal, yeah. That's amazing. Shopper, I mean, shot stopper. Come on, man. You're not, you, I mean, you're going to do, you're, you're going to, you're going to do well to find better than this. Um, shot stopping wise, yeah. Mario Rui is a amazing left back who I would have put on the bench, but he's good enough to start. So I'll start him until his legs get old, bro. Let's be honest. He's 31. Let's not push it too much. Fullback support. Di Lorenzo, fullback defense straight away. No questioning about it. 16 tackling, 13 positioning, but at least he's got that pace. So you're making him full back defend. Kim Min Jae, one of the best. Sign him right now. Ramani, I mean, no nonsense centre back. I already told you he'll lock it off, bro. Hitman. He'll lock off, he'll lock off the centre back team still. Zambo and Guisa, box to box midfielder. That's a no brainer. Come on, man. I'm not putting, I'm not putting Zielinski in this team. He's scarred me mentally. I've, I've got PTSD, bro. Lobotska as well. Bruv, I only just remembered that they had this guy. He's amazing as well. So he'll be my deep plan playmaker. I should probably make him on the fence, to be fair. And then Kavashkiela on that left wing. I don't need to say anything, bro. Politano on that right wing. He's great. He's great, honestly. I'll make him on support as well because I feel like he could have an extra second to pick a pass properly. Definitely. And then oh, see, met no, sorry. Simeone, Simeone yeah. Target forward. I made I made him I know he's five foot eleven, but boy can that boy jump. He's like a mini kangaroo, bro. He'll jump over guys that are double his double his height. It's mad. And then Aussie men up front. 
This team is mad, bro. It's wild. I feel like that formation could suit them as well. I feel like they could do a thing with that formation. So, yeah, that's how I am lining up that updated Napoli. Well, that is the Parthenope, a.k.a. Napoli player ratings. It says they've won the Italian Serie A twice. And the last time that they won that, um, it doesn't actually say, Jesus Christ, bro. They last won it in 1990. So, yeah, they're adding 2023 to that to that um trophy they're gonna have three italian Serie as no one's catching these lot they they've won the league bro so um yeah that is what they look like if you've got any other teams that you want me to do just let me know and yeah you lot have a good day.